you've never seen the bard, this badass. Think Ophelia is a robot, Yorick is a zombie, and you've got Hamlet, the video game, the stage show. Joining us on the cafe to explain how this all comes together, please welcome performers Dan Bain, Kathleen Burns and Jared Corbin, and director Greg Cooper. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, first up. Greg, let's start with you. Yes. What have you done to Shakespeare's most performed play? Oh, we've done terrible things to this play. <laughs> um, any, any Shakespeare purists out there will be mortified. Um, well, it's sort of... We, we, we do it, but the, the real people behind this um, is a, a gentleman called Simon Peacock. He's based in Montreal, originally from Christchurch, and uh, he was approached by Craig Cooper, who's the director of the Christchurch Arts Festival two years ago, and they wanted to create something to bring young people into the theatre. Right. Um, and Simon is now the voice director for Assassin's Creed, which Whoa. is probably the, one of the biggest, I think it's 100 million copies yeah. sold, one of the biggest gaming right. franchises Good. in the world ever. And so uh, Craig said to Simon, look, can we do a play or something to do with video games? Because, you know, Kids young, like video young games. people like video games. <laughs> and um, Simon had had this idea, well, I want to take the most famous play ever written and turn it into a live, interactive, full-on theatrical video game experience. Oh, I love it. what's happened. Yeah, no, I think it's a great <laughs> idea. Dan, you play Hamlet, so I it's do. if you were playing the story of Hamlet, but in a video game. So, do you, like in a video game, there's different levels? Do you do all that sort of stuff? Yeah, absolutely. So we really hit um, a whole lot of... We try and tell the plot of Hamlet, but at the same time hitting kind of the tropes of video games. Right. So we kick off at the start, there's like a tutorial level to learn how to control your character. Then from that you customise Hamlet, so um, you get some options of, uh, you know, those games where you can create your character, you put nice. a silly hat on yeah. the outfits and your yeah. 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 So we go through a sequence of that, and then, uh, and then through the rest of the play we kind of reference a whole lot of different game genres, so uh, like a side-scrolling Mario-style game, um, kind of third-person uh, Gears of War kind of shooter game. We, we, we had a whole lot of different references. Tetris. Tetris, Tetris yeah. yes. Angry Birds. Excellent. Um, so from the, like the biggest uh, kind of AAA video games, we're kind of referencing those right through down to uh, like the simplest kind of phone app. We kind of run, we, we don't leave anything. Uh, awesome. We kind of skewer uh, all those. Kathleen, do you have those really boring chat rooms where people go and talk about their games? Are they in there as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, we only do the really fun, exciting things about the gaming world. Excellent. Yeah. Now, who do you play? Um, I play Gertrude, Ophelia, Yorick, um, Mario, as in from Super Mario. He makes an appearance, <laughs> as does his moustache. Excellent. <laughs> um, a, oh, a whole lot of characters. Yeah. And what about you, Jared? Yeah, and, and again, a raft of characters, Horatio, Polonius, Laertes, soldiers, you know, the Wolfenstein, yeah, from Castle yeah. Yeah, Wolfenstein. And, and what sold you on it? Because I guess when someone comes to you and says we've got this concept, did you think well, this is interesting or did you think it was a bit weird? Uh, a bit of both. Right. Uh, I worked with Simon years ago and, and really admired his work and I worked with these guys a lot. Um, we're part of a group to court justice in Christchurch so we worked together and you know and also I'm an actor and they're like do you want some work? And you're like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Um, Greg so how does it actually all work so the audience ex actually gets to call the shots? Yeah yeah to a certain extent um, so uh, yeah, they can certainly get to customise Hamlet, so they create the Hamlet of their dreams. So we can customise him in what he's wearing? What he's wearing, yep, yeah, what he's wearing. Oh, okay. Um, but, and then, oh, look, I'm going to say it, at the end we actually bring in more players. So we've got about 30 Nerf guns, all beautifully painted. Um, and so Hamlet, it's, when he gets to the end, he's, he's, you know, he's getting tired, he's taking a few, sh taking a few hits. Yeah. So uh, we bring in about... Uh, quite a lot of audience members to help him with his final boss battle. Excellent, that and sounds great. The stage is just coming. You had me at Nerf Guns. You had me yeah. at Nerf. No, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Hamlet and Nerf Guns and away you are. You're opening it up to a whole new audience, which is the entire point of this. But it just sounds like a fascinating journey when you're an audience member to sit back and watch. So, uh, not only have you got all this action going on, but is there live music as well? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah we've got a, a genius um, called Hamish Oliver, yeah. and he does all the music and sound effects wow. live. Um, he's got a guitar, a keyboard, all with a laptop, and, and he actually designs music for video games as well, too, wow. as well as being an incredible composer himself. That sounds cool. Yeah. Dan, tell me about the big LED screens. you get to interact with the video game? Yeah, so we're, so the, the whole show is performed in front of, um, a, like, what is it, six metre LED screen. Um, so, and on that we're projecting, uh, or like, Hamlet's health bar, um, his <laughs> score, obviously, as he's kind of going through the game uh, or the show. 
uh, various activities, get them a new score. Um, and that's all interactive and kind of designed the same way that uh, that in an actual game would be. So our AV designer, Andrew Todd, um, built all that using the same way that Hamish uses the... Um, the music the same way that a video game does the the display stuff has been made the same way as well wow. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and kathleen you you had a great run in christchurch has anything changed for the auckland adaptation um i i don't think so i mean just the people coming to see it i guess <laughs> <laughs> they'll be aucklanders not people from christchurch yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so we're really interested to see what they think yeah it yeah. sounds it sounds intriguing jared um so is every show a little bit different do you yeah, reckon because totally. of every show the concept? is a little bit different because of the concept and just just, just for the nature of it, we have a little bit of fun with it. But yeah, it's, it's just a great fun show. Everyone and, loves it. And what about video game humour? Because there's a lot of chat with video game humour. Do you have a bit of that in the show as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Nice. You can look forward to, you know, when you unlock achievements and you get a lovely little pun, yes. you can look forward to a lot of wonderful puns. Awesome. Yes. Any, everybody likes a really good pun. Hey, mm. thanks guys for coming yeah, in. Sounds fascinating. Fascinating. Sounds yeah. really fascinating. Hamlet to the Video Game Stage Show is part of the Auckland Live Kids Play Programme and it plays until Saturday 7 of October at the Herald Theatre. You can go to aucklandlive.co.nz for details. Nice work. Thanks, guys. Good luck for tonight.